Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, we will have a look at the Winchester 9mm NATO target and training ammunition. They have a rather new style of packaging. I had that ammunition over the years uh, quite a lot in different packagings. Uh, 200, I think it was 200 rounds in a bigger. Uh, boxing then the regular 50 round boxing and now we have that compact uh, 50 round packaging here without any divider in it so packaging wise that is about as small as it can get uh, because there is no divider the ammunition is loose in the packaging we hear that each uh, round uh, touch the other round there is no divider and anything so uh, it's a cardboard packaging it's it's a uh, rather well made it it's not uh, falling apart or anything so that's already nice we see we have target and training and there it's a nine millimeter nato caliber with the typical 124 grain full metal jacket 50 rounds on the front we see this on the side we have we uh, some more information ideal for target and the range use uh, now we have to say remember uh, this is not the typical uh, nine millimeter luger white box uh, winchester uh, wimpy rather weak loaded uh, 9 mm load this is 9 mm NATO so it's a uh, rather powerful and strong just uh, they apparently wanted to create a, a training or range session uh, version of the 9 mm NATO so uh, it shouldn't be confused with the rather weak load that they that they uh, offer so now we gonna open it up. We have the on this side that flap here that we gonna rip. It's uh, glued together a bit there. Then we have the second flap. So the second flap is not glued. It's a bit a mess. Now we actually did rip the glued part apart and then we see how the inside looks like. We have 50 rounds and uh, they are packaged really, really tight without any divider whatsoever. Now I did already open up the other boxes that I got of that ammunition. I did not find uh, much uh, damage or uh, a bullet that would not work so that is pretty good I just grab the first one uh, we see the typical uh, Winchester 9mm NATO stamping uh, with the year that it was manufactured 24 uh, we see a primer that is not sealed now uh, it's a bit uh, unclear, but I would say by the 9mm NATO standard uh, it should have a, a sealed primer. And we see that it is a bit uh, pressed in. It has a, a ring around the primer. Maybe we see that by another one a bit better. This, this one quite likely we see the ring, the ring around the, the primer a bit better. So the primer is stemmed in with that ring sometimes the ring is a bit off center so that is basically there that the primer is uh, hold into place a bit better so if you have automatic weapon that the primer would not uh, uh, fall out if the cycling rate or something is too hard uh, maybe that also gonna seal a bit up the primer but they did not use any color uh, sealant fluid now in the past on some ammunition in that range they did use it and then uh, again not 
it's a bit 50 50 uh, i did not know what we're gonna get uh, in this packaging that is a test and that's why i make the video that you know what you can expect we have a, a regular brass case really nice made in that fashion we have a full metal jacket bullet 124 grain typical 9 mm nato with a true metal it's not a, a dip or a, a coating it has a true jacket over the lead core there so all in all just grab randomly a couple again i did already look at quite some others as i check them out they look to be uh, made really well we don't see uh, much any any damage there the bullet has a little bit something but that is absolute okay uh, there we see a little bit too but minimal i would say really well done except the ceiling the lack of the ceiling there uh, you can always seal it yourself with nail polish if you want it actually works by uh, that version uh, relatively well because the the uh, groove around the, the primer is relatively deep and wide so that works really well so yeah all in all <coughs> all in all uh, really well done in this case i had worse worse ammunition in that range uh, in the past so uh, i think for a while they did sell the the factory seconds on the on the civilian market at least it did look uh, like that by uh, winchester winchester ammunition for handguns it's always a bit 50 50 uh, how well of a quality you get over the years i did try out quite some different calibers and loadings and some of the ammunition did look absolute disgusting so usually i don't buy winchester ammunition uh, again this was a test to see how it is it was a good deal and it's a nine millimeter nato loading so if you have a a good uh, handgun that is made up for that spec that is for sure a nice ammunition especially for training and range so that much about the Winchester 9mm NATO train and range ammunition.